University of Leicester Library holds Sue's original manuscripts. Stephen Mangan would one day play the grown-up mole. This is her actual handwritten, the secret diary of Nigel Mole, aged 14 and three quarters. Well, even a genius doesn't get it right entirely the first time rounds, obviously. Trevor, Clive, Daniel, Melvin, Mervyn, Malcolm, Thomas, Darius. There's a Stephen, I notice. Stephen Mole. Not quite the same, is it? And then at the end, two Adrians. Adrian is born. Here we go, she's off. Sue never learned to type, and throughout her career would continue to write by hand. I mean, it's just, you know, page after page, just and written in all different pens on all different types of paper. You almost feel like she's just, this is all stuff's pouring out of her, and she's almost like, what can I write on next? <laughs> oh, just passing my birthday. I have to see what happens to Adrian on my birthday. Helped grandma with the weekend shopping. She was dead fierce in the grocers. She watched the scales like a hawk watching a field mouse. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> You could almost pick any line at random, and it's funny. I gave Barry Kent his protection money today. I don't see how there can be a god. <laughs> Sue always said that she didn't keep a diary herself. But in her archive, she left something unexpected. So this... Sue's actual personal diary. 215 Breast Clinic. Had examination, then ultrasound, and finally biopsy. It is ridiculous. My hospital records are ludicrously large. Feel ashamed when I see it. 950 Doctor's blood test, brain scan, kidney clinic, foot clinic. I am unnaturally calm, still, the eight-year-old and stoic, with the frozen, forced smile. People going around saying, lovely sunny day, can't the fools see the clouds in the distance? Sue's diary offers a glimpse of her final year. Hospital recovering from stroke. She really did go through the ringer. But even now, in her last months, Sue's sense of humour remained intact. My father is on the front page of the Leicester Mercury. He has won Crisp Eater of the Year. The photograph shows him munching on a grab bag of quavers. I said, you are abusing my transplanted kidney. Your daily intake of salt must exceed a drum of Saxa. That's, I mean, that's Adrian. That's Adrian's voice. 